All right, so I want to show how I upgraded my 1970s era dry niche pool lights to LED. I put emphasis on dry niche, niche in English, because these are the style that you have a well or an access port in the decking of the pool versus the whole assembly being submerged in water and into the wall of the pool, which is the predominantly most common design. The only design, as a matter of fact, that I've ever seen like this is manufactured by a company called Lumio in Quebec and it's this style of housing strangely enough it doesn't even say Lumio anywhere on it but I could see anyway it doesn't say that anywhere on the parts which I found bizarre and uh, the pump timer just kicked in but anyway as I say this is the dry niche style where you have the access port um, in here, which I'll open. It's generally just any old uh, skimmer lid. And this is meant to clip into the ring, which is in the wall of the pool. This one happens to be from an above ground pool. It's about the same thing. However, this doesn't have the bolts that go through the wall of the pool here. This is actually a threaded piece so it can unscrew. In here there would be a regular E27 socket. They always break. Um, this one's not even in there. And you'd screw in just a regular incandescent spot lamp. And that would go in there as such. I did away with that and I put a little China special LED uh, garden lamp. What I had first done was screwed it into this and put it in there and tried to adjust it and it just it didn't work out too well. There was actually no reason for it. So what I'll try and show you here is how I did this. You can see I just uh, tap conned it into a brick and sat it in front of the lens like that. And it works really, really nice. And try to get this to come out on video, but it might be a bit too dark. I wanted to try and show this at night. how well it actually illuminates. I chose ones that are a natural white temperature because cool white um, is a bit too blue and warm white makes the water look green. Of course, this thing doesn't want to focus. Anyway, back to what I was showing. So, I will just remove this. Put my headlight back on. So I just used some snap cons into this brick. I used these um, waterproof automotive connectors. I wouldn't say waterproof, water resistant, um, just to mitigate moisture getting in there. And uh, that's it, that powers on this guy here. And it sits right in front of the lens. The other thing I want to mention is that I brought this down to 12 volts DC. I don't like the idea of having 120 volts right next to the water like that. That is uh, not a very wise practice in my opinion. Um, especially those styles that submerge completely in the water, that's absolutely terrifying in my opinion. Um, no voltage whatsoever should be near the water at all. It doesn't matter, 12 volts, 24 volts DC, AC, it should not be anywhere near the water. The best best thing is fiber optic lights which were not that common because they, the ones that were available weren't 
very well made and basically you would have the the light projector assembly way way off away from the pool and then there'd be fiber optic strands that come into the light housing uh, you have no voltage near the water or anything like that it was really the best thing so as i say we have 12 volts dc coming in here i don't know why they put the junction box in this first lamp it's it shouldn't have been there, it should have been in the shack, but I'll show you the transformer that uh, reduces the voltage. So the single wire comes in here, it goes into a little transformer, and it's simply controlled by a uh, photo cell, as a matter of fact. On the outside of the shack over here, I've installed a photo cell, and what that does is it uh, controls the power to the switch so the switch basically acts as a secondary override so if you want to be uh, running around here in the nude in the dark you can turn off the shack lights as well as the pool lights I mean there's only one in there now because I took the other one out but you can see that we have a manual override at night just if you want to if you want to turn them off for whatever reason so they will come on and off automatically with the photo cell both of them are connected um, to, or rather power is controlled by that one photo cell and uh, all it's really doing is energizing the low voltage transformer for those lights so if you have these old style lumion lights in a dry niche or even in your above ground pool you can hop on the ebay amazon aliexpress pick up something like this they're about 10 bucks a little uh transformer some connectors and you have nice LED pool lights